Time for work to continue on the Roadster. Um, I decided to uh, start a new series. This will be the first uh, video in the series of building the body. Uh, we uh, built the running and driving chassis in the first six videos, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to build this body. It's quite a different endeavor, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. Um, the biggest challenge I have it will be building the rear cover. Uh, but what you see on the cart right now is uh, rosin paper. Uh, you know, painters use it. It comes in a roll. And uh, I'm using it to create initial templates. Um, I made a pattern last night of this side. And then I taped it all together till it was just right. And then I used it to make this uh, version. So that's a cleaner. So each time I make a pattern, it gets more refined. This also helps me visualize how the radiator might end up turning out. You see, it, it comes out beyond the spring. And then down below here uh, on the real car is a license plate, which covers most of what you see there. So that'll be interesting to uh, fabricate. I'm looking forward to that. Plus, it'll have a nice little BMW emblem right there. Okay, so uh, one thing I did is I removed the... Uh, one layer of foam because it was a little snug getting in and out of this now that the paper is on there um, I also decided I'm going to cut the seat back at least two inches so there's a little more room right there to put your feet when you take the steering wheel out but uh, the paper helps me visualize how this thing might look and uh, also determine where I might uh, create the seams in the body um, I'm contemplating putting a, a hinge here, so that means if it, there would be a seam down here where the, hit, the, the hood opens and closes, uh, plus there's going to have to be a seam here for the cowl, and there'll be one up here uh, for the radiator. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of thinking to do on this, but darn if it isn't looking pretty good with that paper on there. It, and it's going to be a nice looking little cart, I think, when it's done. So this rear cover is going to be a... I'm going to do a, a, a skeleton wood frame and then skin it with aluminum. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, anyway, um, I bought um, <coughs> some mat board to make the actual patterns. This is, this, like I say, this is rosin paper. It's cheap. And it helps me create really decent patterns to transfer to the mat board which is more expensive I'll show you that now okay this is the mat board that I bought this is 40 inches by 60 inches it's people that do picture frames and stuff that's the matting they use and as it turns out it's fairly stiff but it's darn near exactly the thickness of the aluminum that I'm skin so I'm gonna experiment with using this to create the perfect pattern for when I cut out the aluminum. Um, here's the rosin paper. It comes in a roll. $22 for I don't know how many feet, but it it's cheap and you can waste it, in other words, while you're experimenting. This stuff was nine bucks a sheet, so it's like, sheesh, you know, glad I got the rosin paper before I go cutting up on that. Anyway, I'm actually looking really forward to doing this body. Okay. Here are the paper patterns laid out across the bench. Eventually, I'll uh, cut these up into smaller pieces as I make up my mind how I'm going to put the body together. I moved the cart uh, up onto sawhorses so I could uh, get at it easier to work this body. I disconnected this end of the radius rod because the body's going to go right, right along the bottom of the frame. Took the wheels off. That'll give me good access to figure out the hardest part of this cart, which is going to be this rear end. Okay, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to piece this body together. How many uh, different panels there's going to be. So I've been working on refining... Uh, the pattern here and so I made a couple decisions uh, back here in the rear I'm going to build up a wood section it's going to be right on this line of the paper this is extra wood here 
but it's going to curve up and around and it's uh, you know so it'll be this wide here at the top there'll be there'll be a ring of wood around here this will give me a place where I can mount the rear cover it's just a rough idea now but that's the concept there so I'm refining the shape of the metal piece that will go that will cover that piece of wood and then I'm also working on the exact shape of this cutout and how low it'll be or how high right now uh, this line is 20 inches off the ground I'm thinking about lowering it <clears throat> and then I decided to split the cow right here this is uh, I think around four inches or so so you can see where I've already cut it so then there's going to be a front piece which will be cut at this line or maybe right about here and this is a little long right now but there's going to be a radiator right here so that'll be a cut line and then one of these three lines is going to be a cut line I'm still deciding which uh, will leave this panel right down here so uh, I may even cut this right across here see this panel right here it's gonna have louvers in it like the original car so if that's a small workable piece that'll make it easier to make the louvers so if I take off this piece here let's see if I can get it off Okay, so this exposes the first piece I'm going to try to make out of metal and install. It'll basically start here at the cowl seam, go clear to the bottom of the frame, encompass the cockpit, curve up and around, and cover this wood piece that I'm going to build in the back here. So, so this particular piece of rosin paper I've been working on get it exactly what I want. It's nice and clean on the bottom and the way that goes around the axle and the exact width I'm looking for here so and then I'm, I need to work on this a little bit I want a one inch overhang right here and that's a little shy of that right now okay if I get this pattern just right then I'm going to transfer it onto that mat board I decided <clears throat> to extend the cowl so I had a piece of mahogany here that I kind of cut to this shape made a pattern then I welded on these little strips here these are 16 gauge steel and then uh, what this does is uh, the sheet metal will come up and uh, the joint will be about three quarters of an inch in from here so I think that's gonna work just fine I'm continuing to refine the patterns uh, for the metal body here and I realized I needed some attachment points uh, so I laid those out you can see where I've welded on some strips I'll show you that here anyway the side piece is slowly taking shape to where I have it just the way I want alright so I added a, these are all attachment points for the body so the seam line will be in the center of all these pieces of metal. So what that will mean is, let's see if I can back up here, there'll be a piece of metal at the bottom, right here, then, then there'll be a piece of uh, aluminum here, which will have the louvers, then there'll be the hood. I could either uh, join it in two pieces or make one continuous piece. Then these extensions here allow me to install a piece of uh, plywood which will be the core of the radiator in essence. <clears throat> so that's shaping up pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to put the plywood piece radiator in. I, I made a little pattern here. Cut it up here. 
so here's the radiator and then on the real car there's a license plate that finishes off the look so I'm gonna put this on the cart and I'll show you what that looks like here's the radiator mock-up with a piece of cardboard so the idea is that uh, these pieces of metal here they'll capture this piece of wood I'll recess them in like I did here so it's flush and that'll give me a place to screw on the actual radiator which isn't all that thick but uh, you can see how they'll be part of the hood ornament here will be right here okay yep the scale looks pretty good I'm happy with that I finished putting on the radiator piece of plywood here there's the license plate portion right there slightly wider than the grill so it's all on there nice and solid I countersunk some screws so it's on there pretty good everything seems to line up pretty decent okay so now that I have that piece on, I could wrap the front. I have the straps and the front uh, radiator piece, so I could actually do the sheet metal work there. But back here in the rear, I have to build this up right here around this. So that's what I'm going to do next. As soon as I get that substructure done, then I can really get serious about making some patterns and cutting some aluminum. I've been working on the superstructure behind the driver's seat, and I have that all finished now. I'm real close to starting to put body panels on. So here's the rear section. It's all uh, plywood, and then I shaped it to follow the curve of the frame. So that worked out pretty good. Right here, I wanted a place that could take screws, so this, these are little blocks of uh, poplar three-quarter by three-quarter and glued up in there and then a piece of half inch over it so that's nice and stout now and then this flat surface here affords me a place to attach the rear cover yep it's gonna work out oh yeah I taped on the template I have for the rear cover just to get a feel for how this thing might look. That rear cover is going to be a bit of a challenge. I think I have it figured out how I want to approach it though. Now that I have this taped on, it looks like uh, the engine might stick out of the rear cover uh, towards the tail there. I don't know. We'll see. If it does... Uh, if I have to cut a hole in the top, that'll be all right. Because then, when you completely cover them, uh, they tend to over the engines tend to overheat. All right. I think I'll start putting on that center body section around the driver position there. That'll be the first piece I'm going to install. I set the engine in place here to kind of get a feel for this thing. So at first glance, it looks like there'll be enough room if I'm careful how I make the cover. It's right here where it tapers that uh, I'll have to be careful. Move the engine as far forward as possible. Now my focus has been on uh, creating the patterns for the different body panels. Uh, so uh, these have been refined to where they're darn near exactly what I'm going to use so you know there'll be a panel down here here's where it comes together at the seam and then there'll be a panel there in the middle this one here will have the uh, the um, louvers in it and then here's the hood piece so these are these are all cut how I'm going to piece it together if I can uh, pull it off this this grill piece here radiator top that'll be one piece I have it uh, split right there now but I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do that out of one piece so anyway now I can start uh, cutting some metal I think
My original intent was to uh, use this rosin paper first and then use the mat board to make the better pattern. So I thought I'd try one out. Uh, a little bit ago I was thinking, shoot, I'll just use the rosin paper and start cutting aluminum. But uh, I went ahead and cut this piece. It's now one piece, continuous. And it wrapped around there pretty good. Happy with the way it turned out. So I think I'll do some other pieces, you know, before I start hacking up uh, expensive aluminum. Okay. Since the piece that goes over the radiator worked out from the pattern, I thought I'd try to do another one here. This will be the piece that goes over the top of the cowl. Um, here's the pattern that I used for the over the radiator. So it actually worked out pretty good. Fit pretty nice. So now I'm gonna cut out this one here and see how hit it fits. Okay. I taped it down with some scotch tape and now I'm gonna trace it with a pencil and then cut it out with some heavy scissors. Okay. Now that I have it traced out, I'll cut it out with the scissors and see how it fits. Well, it looks like it's going to work out pretty good. So I cut it out and uh, fit it in, you know, uh, taped it down. So uh, this exercise is good for me because it allows me to understand where I'm going to have to bend. So i got to bend it right here. But uh, it's taking the shape pretty good, so... Now I can work on these other pieces, fit them in. I almost uh, just started cutting aluminum uh, using the rosin paper, but uh, my original intent was to make patterns with this mat board before I cut metal. So actually I'm glad I'm going in that direction because I'm learning a little bit more. So uh, I'm, I'm going to cut uh, mat board, this hood piece and these side pieces and then I'll cut one for the side back there going up over the seat. Not too bad. I'm actually happy uh, that I'm going through this exercise because the paper isn't really uh, accurate. Uh, but when I go to put on these thicker boards um, I have to massage the panels so that they land on the line. So this one's a little high, I gotta trim it. And then over here, it's a little bit long, so I'll trim it. And uh, then I can, you know, make sure it fits together nice. <clears throat> so yeah, that's working out. Uh, you know, cutting these white boards uh, to where they fit on the lines is really much closer to what I'm looking for. Uh, then with the paper that was kind of sloppy so I'm going to continue laying on panels here see how it all comes out I have all the front panels on now and uh, this has been a pretty good exercise because uh, one thing I learned is uh, because this is thicker material as I wrap it around it, it ends up being a little short um, the other thing is I'm, uh, I've decided I'm going to do the hood first and fit it to the lines and then I can bring all the other pieces to it and bring them in and shape them till they fit that. Because uh, I had done the uh, radiator and the cowl first and fitting the hood in was definitely more difficult than uh, putting the hood on first. So... I'm going to do this one out of whiteboard too, see what I can learn there. Yeah. I managed to get all the whiteboard panels installed. It was a good dry run. I learned a lot from this. It also gives me a good look how this thing might uh, turn out. 
So during the process, I decided how I was going to split up every panel, what I was going to do first. So, uh, and these are good patterns, so I'm going to start transferring to the aluminum. It's time to start cutting aluminum panels. Uh, this is uh, 032 thickness, 5055 aluminum. That's what I can get from my supplier readily. I'm going to cut it up here with uh, these shears just to get it into a workable size. There's the patterns. I've already used a black marker or sharpie to transfer the image. So uh, once I get them wrapped out, then I can put them over here on the bandsaw and get them close to the line. So let's see here. I'll cut a couple pieces. Okay, I have my first piece of aluminum cut and uh, it fits on the lines pretty good so now I gotta drill holes and use some screws. So uh, to hold the body panels on it's gonna be a combination of uh, wood screws where there's wood and then I'm using a sheet metal screw going into the frame and then uh, up in here, here and here I'll use nuts and bolts so I won't have sharp points on the inside. All right, so let's get this first one installed. Well, I'm making decent progress putting this panel on. Um, I installed uh, the wood screw part of it here. Going down, and then down here in the frame rail, I'm using a sheet metal, self-tapping sheet metal screw. I'm still drilling a pilot hole there, though. And then uh, up here, um, this is 3 16 steel and that's a uh, 16 gauge so I'm using nuts and bolts here so there's no sharp points. I gotta get me a new drill bit, drill but the one I got is too dull. I'm having a hell of a time getting through this steel. Um, but ultimately my plan is to add uh, right in here uh, either 3 8 or 3 quarters. I'm going to use bending plywood because see this is a radius here. So I'm going to use bending plywood glued to this so that it'll stiffen this side, give you a place to put your hands when you want to climb out. Let's see how it looks on this side. Yeah, nice and clean. Yep, that'll take on some serious strength once, uh, once I have the wood in there. Okay, and then the uh, attachment screws I'm using is, uh, this is a number six by uh, one, or three quarter, six by three quarter. That goes in the wood. This is a six by half. It's a self-tapper, but I still draw a, I drill a small pilot hole. And then this is a 832 by one or 832 by half, depending on the thickness of the metal. So, okay. All right, first panel's almost done. That's a milestone. Okay, I'm happy with the progress here. This should go okay. Nothing like a fresh drill bit. 
buy the best bit money can buy. That's uh, my recommendation. Anyway, that's a good brand and it cuts through this mild steel like butter. So I have all the nuts and bolts in now on this side. They're a little on the long side, but that's okay. Uh, when I'm done mocking up the car and it's all prepped out, then I'll take it apart and paint it and that's when I'll fix those kind of things. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the other side. Get that one on here. Here's panel number two installed. <clears throat> Yep, I like the way this is going to turn out. It's a bit of a sequence going through all the steps to get a panel ready, but uh, I like how it installed. So I think since this top panel is small, I'm going to do it, when, it next. <clears throat> I finished installing this top piece over the seat back. It was a bitch of a panel to put on. But I got her to go. Used quite a few screws. You know, uh, I use screws because, you know, I'm building the cycle cart. I'm not building the real car, a sports car, or a hot rod. So I can kind of do it any way I want. And since there's wood under structure here, I'm using screws, nuts and bolts. So to each his own. My latest uh, tool acquisition has been a slip roll. Um, and I just started messing around with it. I've, I've used one in the past, but only very little. So uh, I rolled a couple pieces just for fun, but then I decided to try to make a hood piece. And the metal's oversized, but since it was my first attempt, it tapers and uh, it almost fits the cart. So anyway, that's my practice run. That's some leftover metal I had laying around. But the slip roll is going to be fun. I need it to make body panels, and, and then I'm going to learn how to use it. I built this stand for it. I had some 2x2 uh, two two square tube and a can of green paint left over, so it took me an afternoon on a Saturday to cut it and weld it. So it's going to make a big difference in uh, building this body. So I think this will be the end of the first uh, video for body building building this, uh, getting this metal on. In the next uh, uh, video, I'm going to install the hood first. So that'll be fun. See how many more of these I have to make before I get it right.